Hi, and welcome to High School Romance, a brand new series to the channel. It should be a short one, because there's only like four achievements for this game, but before I even start, I would like to turn around and say thank you very much to the person who got me this game and asked if I could actually play it for a laugh because it is kind of a jokey romance virtual novel game where of course the choices matter in the gameplay but the storyline is funny so let's get on with it And I probably won't be able to say the names. Shujai, I guess. It was supposed to be a new school, a fresh start. Okay then. Guys my age are supposed to have friends. To go out and have fun. Was it foolish of me to think that would actually happen to look forward to? I just arrived this morning getting off the train and lugging a suitcase full of clothes and personal effects along the narrow bustling sidewalks. It's a scene I was used to every new place I moved. I was always the weird transfer student. But for once, I was happy to be somewhere new, a place I could really call home. A private boarding school. All I could think about was how lucky I was to be here, to have a school where I could finally belong. That is, until. And here we go. This is you. This is the main character, a, a boy, and this is why it gets interesting and funny. And that's why I thought, you know what, even though it's not adult-esque at all, really, to be honest, like my other uh, virtual novel series are, it is still a good story. Well, what did you say? Lee. This boarding school only admits girls okay you're starting to get the picture huh what am I going to do Shuji Shuji are you all right at this moment I'm anything but all right, but I have to play it cool. So sorry, what? You look a little out of it. I think we're all a little surprised, but are you sure you're okay? That's it. It has to be a dream. This is a nightmare. And I'm going to wake up now. I'm fine, I think. There's no need to worry. I'm sure it was an honest mistake. What was? The fact that you allowed a male to even enroll into a female school?
this isn't the kind of trouble I usually associate with the principal's office. So far, she's been kind of understanding about the issue, though maybe a little too. Nostalgia. She looks so young that at first I couldn't tell her apart from some of the students. I've tried calling your parents, but neither of them have been answering the phone. Oh, they're probably still on the plane. Alright, so he goes to a boarding school whilst their uh, parents are on a trip, or is it business, I wonder? It's a half truth. My parents work for the government. Ah, there you go. So it is work basis. They've always needed to travel for work and their schedule is especially busy this year. This time, even I might not be able to get to talk to them much for a couple of weeks. Oh, bless you, mate. Which leaves you here for the time being. This probably wouldn't be a big deal to most students. I get that. A boy in an all-girls school. It sounds like a quirky story you'd tell to a new Acquaintance. One time in high school, I got accepted to an all-girls school. It would be a great dinner party. Uh, can't get my tongue around that, sorry. But right now, I just feel terrified um, my mother said she went to this school herself how did she not realize ah but this wasn't always an all-girls boarding school that was only a recent change in the last decade or so we always had a high female enrollment, but they decided to make it exclusive. When your mother was here, I'm sure it was co-ed. Although, that doesn't explain why she marked you as female. Oh my god. What are you doing to me? <laughs> I'm your only son. Mom and dad is a female. Oh my god. I feel sorry for you, mate. Female? Can you see why I went ahead and <laughs> with this? Oh. My mother works for the government, but she can't even fill out a student recommendation correctly. Well, he kind of does look a bit feminine with the long hair and the eyes. And with it being a old game, of course, the artwork isn't going to be that great. But to be honest, looking at it, I've seen worse. In modern games, ironically. 
Well, I wish I could do something to help, but my hands are tied. It's kind of against the rules to let a guy in. But wait, there has to be something we can do. Some kind of loophole. It happens all the time in anime. Yeah. You do realize that this is real life, right? I just... Why are you so afraid of leaving? Uh, right, let, let me just probably clarify that for you. Here's a young guy who's just got on the pla- on, off a plane, on his own with luggage, expecting to go into a boarding school where he'll have food, clothes, a roof over his head, and a bed. He gets there, and he says, Nah. No entry. So basically now he has to have a quick hunt for a young lad for food, a roof, clothing, bed, and get his luggage somewhere. So basically, you're kicking him on the street. I think that's why he's afraid of, you know, leaving. If I do, I'll be dragged around the country with my parents for another year. I just got here. I don't want to leave. Yeah, but that means you have to, one, get in touch with your parents, two, find another transport to get you to the plane, which will fly you to your parents, and then to get... You can't even get hold of them. So how can you even arrange that? Please, I'm begging you, I'll do anything. Now this is where the fun begins. Hmm. An exception. Hmm. Well, you are pretty. What? F it? Excuse me? Are you saying he's hot? What are you talking about? Even he don't even get it. I meant your body. You might be able to pass as one. Are you twigging yet? One of what? Are you going to let me in? Yes. I think I know a way. Oh my god, this is not going to be good. Oh, whoa, I did not click on anything then. Is there a back? Because trust me, I didn't click on anything then. I think he said thanks. But only if you pretend to be a girl. Huh? <laughs> Pretend to be a girl? Is that even legal? Hmm. Looking at your file, your academic performance is very impressive. I don't think she's listening to me. We did accept you here for a reason of course all gender mistakes aside you're lacking a little in clubs and extracurricular activities but your grades and aptitude tests more than make up for it. It shouldn't be a problem, really. You'll fit right in. Yeah, with a dangly. Don't tell me he has to tie it up. 
How she came to that conclusion, I have no idea. I... I don't think... And she looks nice as well. Listen. Mm -mm. When did she get so close? All of a sudden. She's blushing as well. And so serious. I know you need this. This is your final year, right? Final year? How old is he then if this is the final year? I know the school isn't UK based, I think... States? Yes. Then you have entrance exams coming up and you have to be thinking about your future. Yeah, that'll be strange. He goes into a job, hands over his portfolio, and it says the school that he attended, and they go, I know that school. You're a guy, though. <laughs> oh. Further delaying your admission to a school will put you behind in your studies, and could be... disastrous for your record oh well, yeah because you have to enroll again go to the mean ins and interviews and everything else and then finally get in yeah she's got a point here if you enter late you'll already be playing catch up with your classmates getting admitted to another school is going to take time but if you stay here, all you have to do is pretend. Think of it like a drama club that happens to be full time. Drama. You're kidding, right? She does have a point though. I never had much to distract me from schoolwork. So my grades have always been high. No friends to go out with on weekends or have lunch with during school hours. I guess it made me very studious. And while I do want friends, I don't want that my grades to change now when it matters most. Hmm. So you want friends, but yet you go ahead and say, I don't want that. Hmm. I, I guess, but how am I supposed to do that? Oh. That's the easy part. You'll just have to dress like you're one of the girls. Right, so easy. Is she out of her mind? Oh, and this is where the story goes. So, I have to choose with, I'll do what I have to do, heck no. Mm, I do want to go along with this, because it's going to be funny as hell, and that's why I'm playing this. And the music changes. Awesome, I see. To be honest, it's a little daunting being told that I have to dress up like a girl. As far as I know, a lot of work goes into a girl's daily maintenance. You gotta call it maintenance? Wow. I can't believe that the wording on this is awesome and the man 
School uniform involves skirts, which seems risky. But Miss Rowan is looking at me so intently, I can't bear to say no to her. I get the feeling that she's really taking a chance on me. I guess we both are. Are you okay with it then? I don't think I have much of a choice. Nope, not ready. She doesn't have to say it so... Brightly? Or brightly? Half the time, I can't even tell if she's being serious or not. I'm glad you're in agreement. Some boys your age wouldn't be so mature about it. It's a good quality to have. I'm not sure I can pull it off, to be honest. Just the fact that you're not freaking out over your masculinity or something is good enough for me. As for actually having the skill to do it, I'm sure you'll pick it up correctly. Or do you think that women are mysterious creatures never to be understood. I'll go with that one. I don't know which way to answer that and not be offensive. Which is in itself a good answer. You're thoughtful Shuji, that's a quality that will help you here and one I personally admire. Thoughtful and honest. Well, that's what you like. See, you're proving to be a good fit for the school already. I hope so. Now, about your clothes, I take it you didn't bring any women's attire, really? Yeah, I, I just love putting a wonder bra on over the weekends, and you can call me Lassie. That's actually a joke there. <laughs> what? No, why would I? Oh, no reason. I was just asking. Teehee. Anyway, we'll need to change that soon. I have my schedule here. If you'll just give me a moment, I'm sure we can work something out. Hmm. For now, though, let's just do a little hairstyling. Oh, wow! So... Pigtails, huh. What are you? There. You look like a girl already. I thought you kind of looked like one in the first place. The that quickly? <laughs> I should be able to find a... Substitute for my second period tomorrow. Your second period? Do you teach a class too? Ah, of course, you wouldn't know. Not only am I the principal, but I also teach gym. I've never heard of a principal that moonlights as a teacher. Then again, I've never been to an all-girls school, either. 
Wait, what does her second period have to do with me? Uh, it's Jim. You'll be running. What will be... Flopping about? I'm trying to... <laughs> be less... You know... Forward in this one. Matches with the game. Yes, I think that'll work out nicely. I'll have someone cover my class, then we can go shopping together. Shopping? With the principal? Hmm. When I said I wanted to go to a new school and make friends, this really wasn't what I meant. Pardon me, but is that necessary? Don't we have uniforms? For the most part, you'll be wearing the school uniform, yes, but during off hours, you're allowed to dress casually. I know it's an odd situation, but people will start giving you funny looks if you just wear your uniform everywhere. This entire situation is strange. You'll be okay for tonight though. There is a dress code, of course, though you're not really at risk of breaking it. But we should start on crafting your identity as a girl as soon as possible, don't you think? Right now, I don't know what to think. Great. I didn't even say anything. This is all happening so fast. I feel like I can't keep up. Still, for all the hurdles suddenly being thrown my way, I get the sense that this stupid situation somehow worked out in my favour. At least Miss Rowan seems enthusiastic about me joining the school. Hmm, Miss Rowan? Yes? What about my uh, appearance? Oh, don't worry about that, Shuji. You're definitely pretty enough to be a girl. Wow, is that insulting or kind? I'm not sure whether that was a compliment or an insult. But with the way she said it, I think it was intended as the former. I'll see you tomorrow then. Wait, how am I going to get out of here dressed like this? I hear Miss Rowan's voice from two directions. What was that? C. Lin? To Miss Rowan's office. C. Lin to Miss Rowan's office. Who's Saylin? Won't she recognize I'm a boy? Girls can dress boyish too if they want. It doesn't necessarily imply anything. And if she is suspicious, this will be a good experience in thinking on your feet. Really? You're testing me already. Yep. I wasn't thinking about it like that, but I guess you could see it that way. Just try to relax and look natural. Like you're supposed to be here. Everything will be fine, I think. Crap, 
I can feel my heart racing, but Miss Rowan looks very calm. Dylan will show you around and take you to your dorm. I was going to say room. And hello there. I do really like it how each character gets their own colouring. Dylan, you called Miss Rowan. Uh, wow. I really wasn't expecting to be taken to my room by a girl like her. Uh, that doesn't even sound right when I think about it. She's looking at me a little strangely. I wonder if she suspects anything. Dylan, this is Shuji. Hmm. She's a new student this year who got here a bit late and I thought you'd like to show her around. Right, she. I need to get used to the new pronouns. Oh, definitely. I would be happy to. Since it's a boarding school, it's not often we get new students in the higher grades. It'll be nice to have a new face in our classes. I'm g glad to be here. Does he have to actually speak as a female as well? That smile. Is she always so enthusiastic? It's nice to meet you. And you as well. I think I've done all right at talking softly so far. Make sure she gets settled in. Ceiling. Here's the key to her dorm in B block. And take Shuji. I'm going to be stumbled on their names. I really do apologize. Apart from Lee, because that's kind of obvious. To her class as well. Got it. Come on, Shuji. I'll show you all the places you need to know to get you. Oh, your started plus the best ways to beat your classmates to class each morning if you're the go-getter type have a good day you two but thanks see you later much later see you miss Rowan This is the main hall. It gets really crowded before classes begin, so a lot of us choose to walk outside instead. Maybe it's just me, but a stroll outside always helps clear my head. Do you like the outdoors, Shuji? Hmm, sure. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Sounded like a dumb question. Hmm. I was just curious where you were from, if you were a city girl or not. I. Is there a right answer to this question? My parents travel a lot, so really, I've lived all over. Oh, well travelled. You're so lucky. I think travelling would be really exciting, but I never get to go anywhere. You'll have to tell me all about the places you've been sometime. 
Okay, sure. Whenever you want. Great. Also, this is the storage closet. Usually, only class representatives are allowed to dig around in here. But if you do need to get something, it's polite to knock. Knock? Come on, this way. Jalen seems to like to talk, or at least she doesn't mind my being quiet. Hmm, the grammar can be done a little bit better. But so far, I like the story. The school's campus is pretty big. I'm still a little confused by the layout as she takes me through the hallways. I realize now that I didn't even come in through the main entrance this morning. Although getting lost is the least of my worries right now. And it's hard to concentrate on directions with her walking next to me. Now, isn't the time to be getting distracted with things like those? I mean that. Oh, I really need to focus. And here's your classroom. And you know what? I am going to end the episode here. I really hope that you lot actually enjoy this series. And if you did do, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for all notifications of course and comment down a bit low like i said at the beginning thank you very much for this gift and asking me to play it i do not mind that at all oh it's a free game, and if it fits in with the uh, channel uh, nicely, even though it is an old game, but it is a virtual novel with choices after all. And I don't mind if the game is just really about choices and storytelling and nothing great like other games going to happen. It's totally fine. You can have a video without adult S stuff. So, yeah, this is the end. Thank you very much for watching. And this will be uploaded every Wednesday, 8 p.m. UK time. And yes, you've guessed it right. This is replacing Blush Blush until I have caught up with the reset boost. So, see you in the next episode.